I'm like 18 films behind. Seriously. Not that it matters really. I'm on no one's deadline except my own. But so to speed up the process, I'll discuss a dinosaur picture from the later 1950s. The Land Unknown. Oh, this is going to be an exciting one. I mean, we all love cinematic dinosaurs. From 1925's The Lost World to 1933's King Kong, 1966's One Million Years BC to 1993's Jurassic Park. Ironically, dinosaur films have suffered since Jurassic Park, relying on uninteresting CGI and overly cinematic pseudo-spectacles. See every Jurassic Park sequel yet released. CGI should not have made VFX less interesting to look at, but here we are. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Practical effects look more interesting on a film by film basis. CGI has the capacity to look more real, artful and satisfying, but given the lack of traditional craftsmanship, how interesting can a quickly dated slab of CGI look in a film context? And now let's test out this new microphone, why don't we? I don't think this microphone's quite as loud as the last one. There has been something of an anti-practical effects, pro-CGI thing popping up lately, I think, mainly due to the opposite being the case for much of the 2000s internet-based film discourse. Yes, there's more to cinema, and life, than banal Gen X nostalgia, but let's not pretend those tepid 2000s blockbusters were, very generally speaking, anything but disposable. Actually, this pro-CGI movement in question tends to champion 2000s films more than anything, essentially implying nostalgia for millennials instead. Examples include Speed Racer, a Star Wars prequel, one of those garbage narcissistic things like The Fountain. One's film journey isn't fully complete until they express disdain for The Fountain, and I'm serious about that. You really need to stop liking that film if you're gonna start taking this art seriously. So anyway, The Land Unknown is exactly what it seems like in my screen caps. Go check it out. These, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to say, I don't think the film of the days will be quite as interesting from now on because I'm going to try and be less manic. Actually, that's probably preferable to some people. It was only a matter of time before people started complaining about the um, erratic nature of these programs, my moods and whatnot, but it's fun. Anyway, have a great night.